Welcome back to part two of my Satsuma campaign. Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai. So picking things up, we left them last time. What an eventful first episode. What a way to kick off the campaign by nearly losing it in the first battle. And we may well lose the second battle because it doesn't look good, does it? Yes, we outnumber them, but they have cavalry and plenty of line infantry. Yes, we do have um, an uh, offshore naval bombardment, but as many people in Twitch chat have pointed out, AI does like to dodge the artillery. So we need to try and pin them down and then danger close it, I guess. We need to draw their cavalry into, into my spears. And we need to, I would have thought, probably have my line infantry on a flank and then hope that the levy infantry can hold while we then sweep from one side across to deal with the, the line infantry. Once we've dealt with the majority of their cavalry, we then also need to try and flank around with the spears and just stop them firing. Because once they stop firing, if we can then hit them in the flank, that would be good. But this this could be pretty disastrous for us. I think we, we need to do as much damage as possible. If it's then turning against us, we need to withdraw and get the crap out of there. So in we go. There's a new tube. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Thanks for your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions. I haven't looked at them yet because we're still streaming, recording the very first kind of session of this, probably the first three episodes. But um, yeah, hope you're enjoying so far. What happens if we do lose the campaign? We will restart. Uh, we won't restart from like a part one of the series. Like if we lose today, then we'll just part three will be us starting again, essentially. Ooh, other thing I didn't think of. High ground. High ground would be... Does high ground in this give us the same range bonus that we had in base game Shogun 2? Is that what it did? I don't know. Actually, like forming up around this farmhouse could well save us quite nicely. Let's find out. Today, sir, we defend. Form double line standard. Spears to the Spears form. Spears to the ready. Battle group ready. Spears to the double. So yeah, what are what are some remind? What are the actual bonuses we get from high ground? Is it increased range, or is it are there other things to it? They are going to try and swoop in on these guys. That's the only problem. I'm not sure if this high ground's going to work. I mean, they've got to march their infantry too. I'm running to get into position. Ready for orders, sir. This could be so dangerous for us. I mean, I'd love to shoot the cavalry with my artillery, but they're going to move. So yeah, shells per volley, 14. Time to impact, 11 seconds. And then bombardment duration is 7. Just wondering how we can make tennis to our advantage. We've got the high ground. Yeah, I'm assuming we need to probably put two spears on the flanks there and two to watch the flanks over here. Oh, they're just charging in quick. Get to the high ground. the rear.
If we can knock out this cavalry now. This is good. This is good. If they lose their cavalry advantage here, then happy days. Hold. That cavalry's gone. Well done, men. This is good. We've got this. It's only the front rank that fires, so I guess we want our lines to spread out as possible, right? They're not coming to the high ground the way we want them to, so we're going to have to maneuver these guys around for a wide flank, I guess. And use you guys to flank on round as well. I'm going to go for a bombardment there. Try and disrupt them as they move into my line. There we go. I heard the shots coming. You can normally see their traces where they're coming in from. Oh, it takes a long time for them to get to you. Here we go. Oh, boom. Incredible. Okay, it's literally coming out of the sky. I thought it would be more of like a, a long sweeping shot. Right, you guys need to swing in now. Because with this action, we should now have these guys annihilated. Swing our forces round. Bombard and blast them. Keep flanking around with you guys. Clear them away. Spears. We got so lucky with that cavalry. I think the AI was like, uh oh, they're trying to reform all their troops together. We need to do something about it. And that was their downfall. Yeah. Rapidly advance. Move to the flanks. General going against the line troops. That's fine. Pull this general back up to the high ground. Charge them. We get another bombardment. Drop it in there. Absolute carnage. But these are the type of battles that, I don't know, that feel the most rewarding. Because, yeah, I, I was really panicked and worried that this was it. This is game over. Already, episode two. Having some absolute blinders. Huge amount of fun. Continue. We have victory! I know there's some friendly fire occurring there, but I'm letting them do it.
Um, go for that. Pull them all back. See what happens. Oh, boy. It's going to miss. It's not going to hit any of them. Oh, no. Got some of them over there, actually. Oh, and there. Nice. So much fun. I'd love another Total War in this period or like slightly beyond it. If the whispers are potentially true of a World War One Total War as the next major historical. I think they can pull it off. Just look at the carnage of the battlefield here. This, this whole cavalry engagement is what I think made it. Because had we not won there, just sent my general out actually. Had we not secured and like dealt with the cavalry, I think they would have wrecked us because I would have been constantly trying to adjust my line to face off the cavalry. Field of green dead. Oh boy. I don't think we're going to catch any of them. Well, I mean, they're going to pull back to their settlement. I think what we'll have to do is siege it. And if they sally out, we do the same deal again. We know we can break them now. Um, I don't think we've got the strength to break their forces at their castle. But maybe, maybe, maybe if they sally out against us, we can finish them off again or just grind them down to nothing. have some more troops over here, don't they? There's only two. What about up here? There's a few. I don't know if we'll be able to catch them, though. Probably not really worth it, but we'll just see if the general can make it. General and Daimyo. Uh, they're going to make it off map. Take out those two. Skadoosh. Close victory. Solid victory. What a win. They lost 1,544. We lost 725. They have 296 remaining. We have 1,888. Beautiful. Job done. Yeah, they're going to run back. That's fine. We siege it. At last. It's only taken us 17 turns. But we are about to take our second region. I don't think I'm going to press the attack on the settlement, though. I don't know if I want to risk the order resolve either. It can end badly for us. I think I'm going to see if they sally out. I mean, we do start off with two regions, so it's not as much of a disadvantage, I guess, as it might first seem. So we can keep bombarding them with our ships as well. Probably want to try and upgrade that as this one, don't we? But this one's more. Spent out towards more earnings already. Just how we how we focused on it so far, which is good. Do, 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 do. How are we doing on that clan? Okay, we're like halfway through. 
Um, I could send some more line infantry to you. Let's get some more in there. Oh, hang on. Was that... Um, was that Saber Cav? It is. I mean, some cavalry would be good for charging units down, but I'll take some more line infantry first, I think. How much is their upkeep, actually? Just being recruiting willy-nilly, not even thinking about it. 115. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can get like that, that unit and that's it. In turn. We could make more of the trade infrastructure in this province. If we upgrade ports and Yeah, I know. I need to Oh, it's going on epic architecture. I was gonna think of just going through that one. Um come my happiness, because yeah, we want to get that trading port as soon as possible. But let's get it in there. It's, it's settlements cost all. It's, it's a good one to have. You've got that one now, though, for the barracks. Turns till surrender. Failed to cause any bombardment damage. More line infantry. Send them on over. Yeah, we got the uh, famed battle there. Good, good, good. Right, let's end the turn. Saga so gonna be able to push back the Choshu. Although Choshu looks like they've lost that region there. They've got their army there, which looks pretty terrifying as well. They are losing. You're friendly. I could trade with you, but I think I'm just going to take you out. Very friendly with the Saga. Oh, with Choshu. Oh, they're at war with them now as well. Cool. Kind of hope the Choshu take them out. Or get wrecked. Just cause a lot of chaos. You guys are hostile with all of them. So you might get taken out. We shall see. Guys up, keep bombarding. That I think we could probably take the order resolve on now. God, we're still losing huge numbers. Oh, I lose all my spears. The Yari can't cheat. Oof. But we level up with our daimyo. We can loot. That does have an effect on our honor as well. Or we can make them vassal. No. Peace to occupy. Nice. Um, Shanagon. In return for your service to the Emperor, you've been granted the rank uh, of Junior Counselor to the Court. You may now appoint a general to the office of Inspector General. Noted clan fame. Nice. Good, 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 good. Hazar. Yeah, we've got the cadet school there, which is nice. The matcha plant. That is really good for income. Mm. I I mean I do want more troops, but I guess if we're gonna recruit them, I want them at the one with the extra reload, so we'll take our time. And we'll pop in some more interesting European journalist at Mike Relations plus 20 or plus 7% to come in range of all units on this man's command. Yeah, pocket watch. And aggressor accuracy this man's bodyguard. Um, replenishment rates. Um, movement range. Yeah, that's what we want. Move through that, if you please. You're going to go over there. We've got decent income again. What's your port here? Yeah, I want to get up to military port. We need copper plating for that, don't we? Yeah. Don't know if it's worth recruiting any more ships right now. Do we have... Do we need trade ships? Kaimaru, yeah, there's lots of guns, isn't it? 
Do we need trade nodes? Oh, Port of London, Le Havre. Yeah, they come from over here. Love the map style for this as well. It's really cool. I mean, you actually, yeah, you have some territory up here to go for as well, don't you? And San Francisco over there for the Americans. But yeah, are there, are there trade nodes or not in this? I forget. I feel like no. Cannon range. It's a nice good bit of money. Alright, let's end of the turn. Plan destroyed. Okay. Who came in and took them out? Where did you guys appear from? To the north? You're friendly. You're allied with the Choshu. You're all with the Saga. Oh, you took out the Saga's ally there. Uh, okay, it's, it's all kicking off here. Yeah, I love it. Imperial all at war with one another for dominance and control. I'll let you guys duke it out and not form any agreements with you guys because then I can just keep conquering up on my own time. I imagine they're probably going to chill and sort of see what I do. Let's just find out what's going on over here. Can encountered. Yep. Choshu. Sell my ships around. So I don't think... Are we... We shouldn't be at war with anyone now, should we? Nope. Oh, the Tosa we've just discovered. Hello. Yeah, they are very friendly. Very powerful as well. I wouldn't mind being friends with you guys. Come. Be seated. Okay, we'll have, order tea, mm, and we will have agreement before sunset. Okay, what this about good day, a friendly five hundred gold? Good conversation, and perhaps a... come. Let us take tea and talk. Then after we have agreed. No. Just do. Come. Just do trade. Who are you guys at war with? Yeah, you've normally got a pretty solid start because it's fairly safe taking um, Shikoku. They're all set there. Income's building up. We want to switch out the levy primarily for line infantry, but that's going to be expensive. What I would prefer to do as well is get... Uh, we want to get the cottage industry in here. Yes, please. You're building up quite nicely. I need more inns, don't I? Don't they get redonkulously good, like the market line, if I'm not mistaken? Financial districts, aren't they crazy good? Oh, yeah, the Ju, uh, Junin um, Ryoge. 2,250 wealth. Those aren't... That's not like a legendary building, is it? That's just like the top top building of that of that line. They're incredible. Money eases all problems. Certainly helps. But it will go to the market next if we can. I would love to get a Kayamaru. That's a massive ship. Very sad. I want to have a naval battle as well. I can get more infantry. But I'm going to save my money so that we can get that cottage industry in here. Next time. Although I should have enough for it, shouldn't I, actually? I should be able to get one more unit. Yeah, that'll be enough. Think about cavalry as well. You're going to go up there. They're all leveling up. That's nice. Maneuver you around here. I think something I quite like about just Shogun 2 and, and now this Fall of the Samurai campaign, but something I noticed definitely during the Takeda campaign. I quite like that 
the turns are fairly rapid. Like you get through a lot of turns or you can get through quite a few turns fairly rapidly. Whereas I feel in later Total Wars, I don't know, necessarily not necessarily a good thing because you don't want to necessarily just blast through because there's nothing to do. But I just like, I feel like the pacing's fairly rapid in this and keeps you moving forward. Um, not to say that if you end up having to spend like a good 20 minutes on taking a single turn is a bad thing. Um, in other ones, if there's lots of mechanics to support you and to give you depth and meaningful options. But yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to have a change of pace and it be a bit different. Um, irresistible. Rare is the man who can resist the charms of a beautiful and talented lady. Should our geisha win the hearts of rival generals or agents, they will abandon their master and join our cause. Try and enchant any character. Uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to have a huge amount of success. Nope. Don't think it's particularly worthwhile doing. I'd rather leave you in there, boosting the gold that's being generated. I probably want to get you into our capital, though, don't I? Our stronghold. They're very happy here. Uh, Pro Emperor is increased. Actually, yes, yeah, probably where I should bring you down to, isn't it? Let's bring you down here and rally the populace. Sell my ships around here and just see what's occurring. Woo. Okay, it's kicking off with the Saga and the Choshu doing kind of counter invasions. We just discovered you guys. Isn't it the... I was going to say, yeah, don't the Choshu start with a railway or rather the telegraph office, which can be built into the railway. Love that mechanic. The system is so cool. Right, cottage, industry. Get that in there for more gold. Yes, please. I know we need to level him up. Let me just get... This one on the march. Kind of wish you could set. I mean, I know we could. We could actually say uh, to the army if I pulled him out. It'd be nice if you could set recruitment waypoints. Like, say, I'm going to recruit here, and then there's a little flag, and you click it, and you say where you want that unit to go to straight away. It's like rallying points. That'd be nice. Move you guys up. Let you all replenish. What are we going to do with you, matey? We are going to go through training. And then on to Drill Master next. Right, let's see what happens up here. Oh, they got wiped out by the Choshu. Rip a dip do. Just got Choshu'd. Go for a little wander around here. Build up and then we go to war with these guys, which look like they are mainly traditional types. Yeah, I can't see any more there. So what are the what are the other type of agents in this? Uh Fall of the Samurai characters. Fall of the Samurai characters. Oh, we can get Shinobi. Okay. Be sort of have like at least one. Increases in rank, good. It's winter. Movement range, yeah. I like the the seasons have like a bit more of an impact, not but aside from just attrition, to reflect the nature of campaigning during certain times of the year would be more favorable than others rallying populace yeah and then activist so in you go yeah you're gonna help quite considerably with that and should allow us to move most of our troops away in the not too distant future 
If you go. Yeah, we could go and try and take that. Saga's port's blockaded, but they've got another... Is that another port of theirs up there? Yeah. They're holding on. They're trying. Very well. Right, I'm going to get me some cavalry now as well. Expensive. Take two turns. That'll be useful pushing forward. industry lovely lovely bit of income craft workshop silk weaving or the cotton weaving shed but for that we need cotton that one adds growth per turn so what's the what's the best one to go for More modernization. Less of a hit to your happiness. But if you can keep everyone repressed, it's fine, right? Oppression is the name of the game. In fact, I'm going to move my geisha up from here now. Geisha can increase the loyalty. Because this one is quite rapidly expanding into quite the little industrial hub. A bub. Get more infantry as well. It's interesting that they got rid of the trade nodes and stuff like that. Oh, I keep forgetting to move this as well. Well generated by farms. I mean, leave that. Then I need to go through this, please cordial relations. Keep forgetting to do that. Mm. Some more spear troop actually wouldn't be terrible to replace the ones I lost. Just to the little pinning forces for now. Plan joins the Imperial cause. Oh, okay. That was the the purple dudes up here, right? I guess because they probably conquered so many regions that had Imperial stuff to them. Oh, they've just lost that to the... Okay. Good. Yeah, they probably had so many that were linked to... Of that, of that. Cool. I, I say I would say culture because that's essentially what it is. But still. All right, loop you guys around again. Right, just wait for those troops to come on in, and I think we're ready to go. I mean, more cavalry would be nice. I wouldn't personally say no to one more unit of cav. So let's get one more. I'm assuming they can move a fair bit further if need be. And in the meantime, I'm going to start assembling my army. Here. Can I take them all out? Just about. I don't know if I can do that once we move the cast repression characters. Three recent events characters. So I still need all that levy. So let's move up here because then we should be in striking distance of Bungo in one in one singular turn. I'd have thought. Yeah, keep going up there. I think that's fine. Nice, 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 nice. Right, one more turn, then switch over to Consular Court, please. Thank you very much. Wait, we have one battle per episode so far. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of worked out that way. Technology researched. 
now it's now studying concert of court, which is what I want. Good. Just got to do a bit more modernization as well. So that does the most modernization. So I should probably go for the craft workshop next, unless give up for the inn. In the market, that's that's minus one to development. The gambling den, that is plus one. So yeah, we want to go across to that market. So save up the gold for that. Should be able to do it next turn. We have cavalry coming. I could do one more unit of line infantry. Sorry, I know. I was like, yeah, save the money, and then he spends it. And destroyed. The Sioux are down. Rippers. I quite enjoyed my campaign with them last time I played. Don't do that. Posing, sir. Move around there. Lovely. Ba, 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 ba. I want to check actually what what is the is it, is it eighteen seventy six we've got to go to? Or was it longer than that? Gauge increase in rank. Mission failed. Yeah, I know. Before eighteen seventy six. Okay. How many turns is that? Choshu were destroyed. Oh, wow. Just like that. You guys are very friendly, though. Wow. Same allegiance, past friendships. I mean, I feel like with this one, I'm not too worried about having allies. I'd be quite happy just conquering everyone because we relied on the Imagawa for our Takeda campaign quite a bit. Maybe the Tosa. You're at war with, oh, you're at war with the Tosa, though. Um, Saga, they are, they've survived. They are all with these guys still. But Choshi just got wrecked. They had some big armies as well. It's six turns per season and four, okay. So what's 20, 24 turns a year. So we've got like 204, or like 200, yeah, 240 plus turns to go. Ready for orders. Ready for Plenty of time. Off you go, guys. Right. Do, 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 do. We will wait one more turn, then upgrade that. We should get us through the modernization quite nicely. And when we can, we can also upgrade that barracks. That lets us get sharpshooters as well. Eager to serve. Oh, a new general. Oh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't chosen the commissioner thing yet, have I either? Uh, let's enlist him. Uh, Rangaku. My lord, a man with a passion for Rangaku, learning born of our dealings with the Dutch, has been promoting Western ideals and technology, believing them key to be key to our national development. Western learning might benefit us greatly, even if we disapprove of the Gajin's crude and self-serving ways and courage. All the foreigners have caused us much turmoil of late, and we will not have their misconceptions cloud the people's minds. You must be silent. I'm going to encourage him. Well, those guys got wrecked as well. Who just took that then? Oh, the God, the uh, Oka are doing really well. You've got no one to be at war with anymore. But maybe you'll go after the saga next. I mean, like, weaken them, break them. 
But I, I'm also... That means your army must be up here. It must have swum, swung? It must have, yeah, swung all up there. Done a big old swing round. So we want to be pressing in soon before that army gets back. So let's march our forces back up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to move my cavalry independently because they'll move a bit further. Army should be fully assembled within like three or four more turns. But we might just, if it's undefended, we might just push in with what we've got. Can't see where that army's coming from. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move my foreign veteran. Yeah, see if I can scout him out. I know he's useful in the army, so we want to bring him back for sure. Yes, my lord. Uh, we can go in there next turn if they're not close. And then these guys can reinforce as and when they arrive. So yeah, save our money. Upgrade that to the market next time. All right, let's end the turn again. Spring! It is plus one happiness across all provinces. And before I forget, because I've forgotten for so many turns now, let's... Oh, look at that. The sun... Let's choose. Oh, yeah, I've got the new general. Um, Inspector General. Construction costs across all provinces plus one repression. I'm going to this dude. Inspector General, because you've been chilling at home for ages now. Yep, 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 yep. That's this guy back here, isn't it? You've got improved armor. I will move you up to be over here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they gain traits for like eye for a lady or anything like that. Now, marketplace. Yes, please. It's actually cheaper to upgrade now because of that controller that we've got there. Ready for battle. At your command. At once, sir. Up to your command. My sword for you, I can't see him there. Let's see where their army is. Oh well. Maybe their army's pulled back that way. Oh, the sun is born. I think we'll attack next turn then. Let's go get that cavalry. That is impossible. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about getting some spears still, so wasn't I? Ba, 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 ba. Ready, sir. Just wait to see if we can discover where their army is. Because that'd be good to know. Be good to know. Oh, they actually do have an eye for... There is the eye for ladies in this. Ah, there's their army. There we go. So the dangerous thing in here is if we go in and they counter, they could counter by going down here. Which would not be ideal. But we could then try and hold them at the stronghold. How strong is their counter? Because they could just dive straight down here and I'd have to chase after them with my army. Or are you guys saying go for that army and take it out? Hmm, because I can't move towards it without declaring war on them first, and I'd like I'd like to be the one doing the first hit. At your command. Ready for orders. At your service. Like we can hold and we can defeat that army if we're playing defensively, I reckon. I'm going to be bold. Declare war. Let's do it. Let's go straight in. That's their, that's their capital, so let's hit them hard. Oh, is that my ship just out of range? Oh, no, it's already bombarded this turn. No, it should still be able to. Let's give it a hit. 
I'm part of me is wondering like should I fight this myself or should I take the order resolve on that? I feel like I'd probably safe to take the order resolve. What I'm gonna do is gather you guys up together. As reinforcements, I think. I'll send you all in one go. I mean, if I stay sieging it. Would that maybe lure the army over here to break and then I could swing back, take them out by actually waiting a turn on purpose to specifically pull them this way? But then if they go that way, then I've not taken the settlement and I'm a turn behind chasing after them. I think I should take it to try and draw them this way. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll fight this one. Should be minimal losses. Less than 100? 59. Yeah, that's great. I would not have done better than that myself. Peacefully occupy. Get that stronghold instantly repaired. Cadet school, copper pit mine, quality copper. I mean, we all need these in other places, but I'm just going to, I'm still going to get rid of it for now. And focus on bringing up my best troops from here. All the time being. Got the gold pits. Well generated by mines. Is mining a building I can build? Ordered, sir. Moving out. My sword for you, my lord. Do, 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 do. Performing, extracting, sorry, troops, happiness. It's 10% wealth from business buildings in all provinces. Oh, wow. That's really good. Entrepreneur. Damn, yeah, that's really good. Can I go for that even though I've not chosen that route now? Like, I'm stuck going down this side, aren't I? Yeah, that, that's really nice. Okay, so that one is when performing, which is what boosts this, right? Yeah, we'll just keep going this side for her. Maybe the next geisha will go. Um... Down that other side for the entrepreneur bit. That looks incredible. Do the units in this, do they have like a secondary look to them when they get past a certain level like they did in the base game in Shogun 2? Anybody know? Right. Yeah, let's see what these guys do now. Advisor, gentlemen, part-time rogue, and at your service. What are you guys going to do? Yeah, oh, they've gone south. But oh, I might be able to have a naval battle at last. Ready, okay, you're going to have to follow them down here. If you say so, old chap. Right, so I mean, they're going to rush down here to threaten these regions. I can throw some troops in. What we're going to do, though, is strike them from behind. Yes, my lord. Oof, that's not good. I can exempt them. At your service. Sir, up to but yeah, we've, we have got to press over here now. Keep them busy. It's minus two. That's going to go down to minus one. Uh, actually, should even out next turn. So we should be okay. What I'm going to do, though, is actually loop these guys around the other way. To link up with my army once it chases that army down. Okay, you'll go in there. Let's see if we can have a little naval battle. 
Yes. We will fight this one. In we go. And we go. Finally, some naval action. Love it. Full speed. Not exactly the most okay, so exciting one. That is a uh, Canarin Maru class. Can I? Can I still? Can we board? Boarding action still a shit thing. Do you need to do anything specific in order to get a capture? Do you have to board to capture? Yeah, we can overheat the engines, can't we? So we can get there a bit faster. But that risks them potentially exploding. You have to board if you want to capture them. Okay. I forgot we got first person mode. I cannot wait until we've got Gatling guns. Because first person mode Gatling guns is incredible. Oof. Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Turn. That one's only got this little gunboat. Yeah. Okay, go, go, go. A little gumbo has three three guns, one on each one on yeah, left, right, and forward. first person in warhammer um yeah only on some artillery pieces it's kind of weird they're not being they've not been consistent about it which i don't really understand only certain artillery pieces can be um can be manually fired which is just a bit weird to be honest oh they're gonna take out that one at this rate Swing it round. Solid shot. End up, we're gonna say we're gonna end up losing that little gunboat. I'd love to try and capture this, but I don't think it's gonna be possible. You need to turn around much more rapidly. I'm going to lose this. I'm trying to get it around to my stronger side. 
And it's just very nimble. This Corvette. Yeah, I've routed. Great. Far too maneuverable. Rushing defeat. Oh, dang. Thankfully, my ship survived. They'll pull back here and we can just repair them. And then round two, maybe? What class is that one? Um... That one. Yeah, it's quite good turn. Yeah, it was able to turn quite rapidly. It's like our third best ship, I think. Fast and curly sized ships. New ability makes it ideal for port and coat. That's what I've got here, isn't it? A Caton class. That was a little bit too lumbery. That one is Cannon's 12. It's the same thing, actually. It's just actually speed and everything else. It's just mine's had a little few more cannons, but they, yeah, managed to get the shots in where it mattered. That one's same, even more morale. Didn't say anything about speed. Good range and accuracy. More cannons. This is a slow moving but heavily armoured. Not as many cannons though. That's the one you really want. It's got all the firepower. Let's save that right. What do we want to get in here? We want to get cottage industry. Um... Cannon range wouldn't be terrible. We probably want to get that back in our, in our other play. We get Shinobi from here. That affects our modernization. Smelting mill. Or the anode furnace. That's quite good. Uh, I think it's cottage industry in that. Right, let's do one more in turn for you. Wrap up another episode for those watching on YouTube. Where's that army going to go? Is it going to pull? It is pulling back. Good. Mounting unrest. Yep, but it should. No, it's still bad. Ready for battle. Okay, so I'm going to have to pull back with my army to stop there being a rebellion, but that's good because they pulled their army back here. And the saga are there. Are the saga at war with them? Oh, perfect. Let the saga knock them out then. Or weaken them. And then we move in shortly after. Happy that I mean I might be able to get away by just moving my army back into our territory. Which might even lure them out potentially. If Saga take them out, I'll try and move for that region there. These guys are very friendly. But they were originally. Shogun supporter, so I'm going to go with I don't trust you, I'm going to wipe you out. Plus also, conquest of uh, Kaisho. Our starting island. Right, well we'll do all that and more at the start of the next episode. For those watching on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. For the next one, take care and ciao for now.